Hey guys, good morning and welcome to today's uh, prediction analysis. And um, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, okay? Um, share with friends and join our Telegram channel. The link to the Telegram channel is in the comment section, okay? So uh, it's been a pretty interesting couple of days, to be honest. It's been really, really interesting. And um, I have a very important announcement to make. What I want to tell you is, if you are losing money now, I don't want you to be overly concerned, right? Or to beat yourself up. If you want to, you can take a break. Okay. Olympics, both men and female will be starting next week. And those games will be similar to the Euros. You saw how Euros games were predictable for us. What's happening is that bookmakers lost a lot of money before the end of the season. Okay, remember how predictable games were? Those who were fighting for top four for the title, how we were winning a lot during that period. And then shortly thereafter, we had the Euros and we won a lot. They lost a lot of money. So what they are doing now is they know the Olympics is right at the corner. The season is also right about the corner. So what they want to do now, they want to use this period to recoup, especially using matches from the Euro qualifiers, sorry, from the uh, Europa and the Champions League qualifiers. There were a lot of fixed games, but you guys don't know. We have insider information. We're able to see at the end of every game, there is where we go to check which of those games out of those um, Europa leagues were fixed. And when I see it, I just smile. Out of 15 games, about three will be fixed. And there is no way you won't include one of those three when you are building your bet. That's how they've done it. So that's why, you know, we're having these issues we are having. So if you need to take a break, please take a break. Next week, Wednesday, Olympics return. And I tell you, for both men and women, it's going to be beautiful. It, we, we'll deal with these bookies once again. Okay, but even before then, I'm trying. I've spent several hours on these three matches that give exactly two odds for you guys, and I'm confident that they will deliver. Okay, so I, I care deeply about you people. I really want you guys to return to you know winning again. And I, there is only one promise I want to make you: that you will recover every single penny and be 100% profitable. Okay, the season is just a couple of weeks from now. Olympics is next week. More leagues are resuming. So they can have the, your money. Take it as though someone took a loan from you. That's how you should take it. Let's imagine these bookies have just taken a loan from you. They will pay it back and with interest. I promise you. Okay, uh, without wasting time, let's see what's possible today. So we have from the Egypt Cup, we have Al Ali and AL Aluminium. So um, Al Ali at home, when you look at them, these guys are averaging 2.5 goals at home, right? They score and concede as well. And they'll be playing against a team from a lower division, much, much lower division, you know, way lower division. And interestingly, when you look at their meetings, whenever they've played, it always, it rains goals. There are always goals. In fact, Al Ali's odd to win, I just want to show you something. Al Ali's odd to win is just um, 1.08 because it's a game Al Ali will win convincingly. A minimum of three to four goals in 90 minutes. So this is a game that will produce goals in 90 minutes. And it's for this reason that we are going with, I, I was actually thinking of going with over 2.5 goals, right? Over 2.5 goals for it. That is this game to produce 2.5 goals outrightly but let's take things easy so i'm going to go with over two goals over two goals so if it finishes with just two goals the bet the wager for that very uh, bet is refunded so you don't lose money okay so it's over two goals and the odd is 1.15 uh, the next game is a new league, a league that is resuming today. It's Denmark. It's uh, a, a house midget land. And when you look at this home team, it's interesting that they're averaging a minimum of two goals when they've played at home. 
Um, but when you look at their last three matches, when they still had the season on, you can see that they did concede and score a lot as well. Uh, Midget line away from home is averaging 2.5 goals away from home. It's interesting that, you know, they've managed to score in three out of the last five matches that they've played. But then the head-to-head tells you everything. The head-to-head shows that this is a fixture that always produces goals. It's a game that will produce at least four goals. Okay, it's going to produce at least four goals. Yeah. So that, this is something we can be very, very confident of. Expect the home team to grab a goal. As you can see, the home team tries to score. They've scored in three out of their last five home matches. And then you have Midget Land that has scored in three out of its five away games. So expect... A game that should end 2 or 3 1 in 90 minutes. And it, I mean, again, the interesting thing about this game is that it's the start of the season. So, renewed energy, renewed vigor, renewed enthusiasm. And when that happens, there's only one thing that happens goals. It, you know, you, you get to experience a lot of goals during the process. So, what are we going with? Again, over two. So, the fixture to produce over two goals. And the odd is 1.36. And then we have this interesting game. Um, Riga versus uh, Gel. What's the name? It's, my network is a little bit slow. Yeah, Riga versus Gel Geva from Latvia. And I mean, I'm sure you guys know a lot about this Riga team. We play them most of the time. And one thing about them is that they, they score goals. They just score goals for fun. They score a lot of goals. So they, they, they'll be playing this Jelgava. And when you look at Riga, you see that this is a team that averages, they score a lot of goals, they score in conceit. The only time they don't score a lot of goals is when they play teams that are maybe in the top four or top five. So Jelgava here <laughs> has been on a losing run. They've lost four out of the last five matches they've played. And look at the number of um, goals they've considered in the process okay and this team they met um, a couple of weeks ago it's not here and the game ended i think 4-1 either 4-1 or 4-2 so this is a fixture that will produce a lot of goals and we expect a minimum of four or five goals and the reason is when you check their standards one thing you will see is that uh, this home team has aspirations of stabilizing in, 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 in the top two. So they have aspirations of stabilizing in the top two. If they fail to win today, the third place team will gain an advantage over them or you know gain a couple of points that can move them closer. So it's going to make for an interesting game. They need to keep winning to also pile up pressure on the team that is number one. And they need to win with a high goal margin as well. So I'm going with over 2.5 goals for this game. It's going to produce a lot of goals. So over 2.5 goals in 90 minutes. And the odd for over 2.5 goals in 90 minutes is 1.20. And you have your, uh, what do you call it? Booking code. For now, until the season begins, I'm just going to focus on one expert because one expert does provide um, i think a few more options than sporty bet so uh it's only when the season returns that you know i'll be doing sporty bet they don't allow you to win easily that's my issue with sporty they limit you for example there was no over to go market for al ali and yet this is a game this al ali game is a game that can easily finish 2-0 easily but they deliberately took away the over to go market and pushed you to like 2.5 goals uh, same with, um, okay, yeah, even Riga to over two wasn't there on one on a spot. Event, so, uh, we'll focus on, um, on, on one exhibit for now until when the season returns and they have more sense. So, as always, I appreciate you guys and thank you very much for your time. We pray for the best.